Hello everyone! Welcome to Cooking Curbs Coding Class. Today, well, today and next week, I'm going to show you how to use background scripts in extensions. Although today we're not actually going to be making any background scripts. So, right here I have an extension, which is going to create a timer in a background script so that it'll play a noise when it's done. So I'm just going to put three seconds and click start timer and it'll play the sound for my intro. So as you can see, it just played the sound for my intro. Now you can make it play any sound, obviously. That's just the sound I chose. And this week, we're not going to be able to finish. We're going to create the manifest file, this page that's inside the pop-up, download jQuery, and add an icon, and get all of that running. And then next week, we'll do the background script, which is going to be really fun. All right, let's get started. All right, so to get started, create a new folder on your computer. New folder. And just call it whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it timer extension. And pop that open. And now, inside of it, we are going to open up a text editor. I actually thought that we would be able to create a new file from Finder, but apparently Macs don't do that. I don't know. Weird. And we're going to switch this to JSON, because that's the type of file it is going to be. And I'm going to save it as manifest json and I'm going to put it inside my timer extension folder so, and now you can see that it appeared right there okay so inside manifest.json going to open some curly braces open quotes and type manifest manifest underscore version close quotes colon two comma and the next line open quotes name close quotes colon space open quotes and whatever you want to call the extension I'm going to call it timer really creative name comma, next line, open quotes, description, description, close quotes, colon, space, open quotes, and I'm just going to type, great timers, close quotes, comma, and now the next line, open quotes again, version, close quotes, colon, space, open quotes, and whatever version you want to say it is. I'm going to go with 1.0.0, close quotes, comma, and here's where things start to get interesting, open quotes, browser, underscore, action, close quotes, colon, open curly braces again and then the next line open quotes default underscore icon close quotes colon space and I'm just gonna put icon.png because that's what I'm gonna call the icon once I've added it in so icon.png I'm just going to call it icon.png, close quotes, comma, and on the next line, open quotes, default, underscore, pop up, close quotes, colon, space, open quotes, I'm just going to call it pop up.html, pop up.html, close quotes, comma, or actually no comma, just close quotes, 
because we're done with that. And I close those curly braces, put a comma, and now we're going to do, hold in quotes, background, background. And this is the important part because this is, well, the extension wouldn't work without this. Close quotes, colon, open curly braces, and here's where we're going to add in two background scripts. One of them is the script we're going to write, and the other one is jQuery. So, open quotes, scripts, close quotes, colon, open square brackets, open quotes, and I'm going to call our copy of jQuery, jQuery dot js, close quotes, comma, and here's the script we're going to write, background, dot js, close quotes, close square brackets, and on the next line, close curly braces, and put a comma, and on the next line, open quotes. This is the last thing we're going to do to the manifest. Content underscore security underscore policy. And I accidentally added parentheses in there. Don't do that. Colon. And what this is going to do is we are going to allow unsafe eval, which we're not going to be using, but when you allow unsafe eval, you're also allowing set timeout. And set timeout is how we're going to do timers. Basically, we're going to do some math to convert all of the hours, minutes, and seconds into milliseconds, and then do a set timeout to play the noise. That's what we're going to do next week in the background script. And for the extension to actually let us do that, we need to enable unsafe eval. So, space, open quotes, script, dash, src, space, open single quotes, because we open double quotes over there. If you open single quotes, then open double quotes. You get the idea. Self, close quotes, single quotes, not double quotes, space, open single quotes again, unsafe, dash, eval, close single quotes, semicolon, object, dash, src, space, open single quotes, self. Close single quotes, semicolon, close double quotes. And don't put a comma this time, and close curly braces for the whole thing. And that is our manifest file. Okay, so save that. And next up, we are going to do, let's add in an icon. So how we're gonna do this is I have an image here of a clock saved on my computer. So if I just search for clock, here it is right here, and I can just drag it into there and rename it to icon.png. That's it. That's all you got to do to add an icon. That was easy, wasn't it? Okay, next, let's download jQuery. So pop open Firefox. You can just look up a link to jQuery. I'm going to go to CDN dot cdnjs dot cloudflare dot com because right there I have in my history a link to jQuery which I will put in the description and press command s or control s if you're not on a Mac which you probably aren't and find the extension folder on your computer and press save Perfect. Now, quit Firefox, and we're going to rename it. Just going to get rid of .min, because we don't need that. Save that. 
like that because that is how we named it in the manifest. The title should be the same. Okay, now make another tab in your text editor, and we can actually close out of this other one. And this one's going to be the pop up file, which is going to pop up when you click on the icon. And this one is also pretty simple. So, script src equals open quotes jQuery dot js and yes this is going to be a background script and linked in the pop-up which is redundant but for some reason it doesn't work unless you do both and I have no clue why okay and we should probably add a doc type tag let's do that so on the first line exclamation mark doc type HTML. Okay, now another line. We are going to make a very basic thing. Hours colon input. We're going to create an input tag. Input type equals open quotes number close quotes ID equals open quotes hour close quotes and finally value equals open quotes zero close quotes and what this does is it creates the little input you saw with the up and down arrows because it's a number and its ID is hour so our script can grab it using that ID and its value is zero because we want the default for everything to be zero, otherwise it'll just be blank and it won't work when you click on start timer. So you want to leave that value at zero. And you don't close input tags, there's no slash input, because, I don't know, they're weird. Minutes, colon, and we're going to do the same thing again pretty much. Create an input tag, input type, equals open quotes number close quotes id equals open quotes min close quotes value equals open quotes zero close quotes and do a little greater than sign next seconds seconds colon and make another input input type equals open quotes number you probably already remember what the next thing is ID equals open quotes sec close quotes value equals open quotes zero close quotes and do the little greater than sign and finally one more thing, create a button tag, button, id equals open quotes send, close quotes, and inside it we're going to put start timer, and close the button tag with slash button, and that is all. So save this file, and we are going to call it popup.html or whatever you put in the manifest but you know I put popup.html so that's what I'm going to save it as. So now we have jQuery, we have an icon, we have a pop-up, and we have a manifest. So ready to run the extension. Now there's two more files we need which are the background script and the script for the pop-up we're going to do those next week. First, let's look at this. Pop up in Firefox. Go to about colon debugging. Enter. Click on load temporary add on. Now, find the file and click on manifest.json and click open. If you're going to test it in Chrome, then 
obviously you're not going to open about debugging and do all that stuff because Chrome is different. So you can watch my video about how to make an extension from a year ago, which shows you how to test in Chrome. So click on this, and you can see we have all three of our inputs, and everything works as it should. So we're going to leave off on that and come back next week, or if you're watching this far away in the future, click on the card to see the background script and the pop-up script. How to do that? Don't forget to like and subscribe, buy my merch, and remember, the lamp is always on.